of Everything Home. Today on our show we're going to show you probably one of the easiest electrical projects you can do in your house and that's to change out a single pole light switch. So whether or not your old switch has worn out or you just want to upgrade to a new more modern paddle switch, we're going to show you a quick step-by-step -step process taking out the old switch and putting in the new one. First thing you're going to want to do though is make sure that the power is turned off to that switch. So you're going to want to go to your main electrical panel or fuse box and turn that circuit off or pull out that fuse that goes that sends the power to that switch. Once you've done that, come back and we'll get started on the project. The first thing that we're going to want to do now that the power is off is we're going to want to take off the faceplate on the old switch. And that's typically held on by flathead screws. Take both of those out. Once we have those out, we can take off the faceplate. So let's start taking off the switch. That's usually held in typically by a Phillips screw. On some of the older houses, they might be flatheads. So we're going to unscrew that. pull the switch out. Okay, now that we have the switch out, you're going to see your typical setup in newer homes. You're going to have two wires coming in. You're going to have the power coming in and then the power going out. And typically, we'll show you from the back side of the wall how this looks. But then you'll have your neutral wires that are going to be tied together. And those are tucked back in the wall typically. You're not even going to need to touch those. Basically what we're going to do is be transforming this wire and this wire and your ground wire, your common ground, over to the new switch. Now this is typically what you're going to see from the back of the wall. You've got your power at this box here and then that power goes up to where the light switch is. So that bottom wire is your power coming in. And then that top wire is the power that's going to be going out and going up to the wall and going to the lights. Now on some older homes you might find that you only actually have one set of wires coming down into the switch box and you're not going to have the power coming in from there. And the reason for this is a lot of times on some of the older houses what they've done is they've brought the power to actually the light above and then they've just ran a wire coming down from above into the switch box. So that same set of wires they're just using one to bring power down and the other one to bring power out. So if you look at this side and if they ran just one wire coming down, you might actually have on yours, say, a white wire coming in for the power and a black one going out to the switch or vice versa, the black one coming in with power and the white one going out to the light itself. And that's done sometimes, like I said, if the power has been brought up to the light first and then they just brought one wire down to make the switch work. But typically what you're going to find is two sets of wires coming into this box, your neutrals tied off in the back, and then your common ground coming out to the switch, one, pop, one coming in for power and one going out for power with the switch. So let's get started on taking these off and adding the new switch back on there. Okay, let's get started taking off this switch and putting on the new one. Now sometimes you're going to see that the wires are connected to the terminals on the side terminals and typically the wire is going to be looped around that and you'll have to release these by unscrewing these terminals and taking the wire off and then putting it on the new switch. Now this one they have it put in with just where it's in the push pin one and basically there's typically going to be a little release hole. You can usually put a small flathead screwdriver in there and what that's going to do is release the clip holding the wire and pull that off. Once we have the one wire off what we're just going to do is put it right directly on the new switch so that we don't get them confused. Typically on a switch your common ground is going to be on the top part of the switch so you're going to want to make sure that you have the top. A lot of the switches will have a top on it. So then you're going to take the power that's coming in on this particular switch. We actually slide this one under the terminal here and then we have to tighten down the screw And that's going to press against the wire and give you a more solid contact. 
Next one we're going to do is we're going to do the top wire. Same thing, push in a small screwdriver, release the wire, move that switch out of the way. We're going to take this one now and put this one under the top part. And then we'll tighten that down on this. Then we're going to double check to make sure that the wires are in there tight and they're not going to come loose. And the next one we're going to do is the common ground. We'll take that off and reconnect it to the switch up here. Release this, take this common ground off. Now that we have the common ground off the old one, we're going to loop that around the new switch and then tighten that up. Once we have that on there tight, remember that's typically on the top part of the switch, so we're going to put the switch back around. Make sure that the wire is tucked back into the box. And then we're going to screw the new switch back into the box. Now that we've got the new switch back into the box, it'll be time to put the new cover plate on. Okay, now we're going to put the new cover plate on. Next thing you're going to want to do is go outside and turn back on the circuit breaker that powers this switch. You can come back in and your brand new switch will be ready to use. Congratulations on installing your single pole light switch. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time on Everything Home TV and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.